Hi everybody, it's John from Veganism Kills, September 11th, 2020, 10, 17 a.m. And yet again, the vegan strike, a tragedy that could have been prevented, unfolded by the sadistic beliefs. Uh, two parents and a Again, at Australia, Melbourne, I believe it is. Well, they were feeding their doc, uh, child, a young girl, about one years old, a strict vegan diet. The parents were in their early 30s. And the child is all messed up now because the diet caused her to get cerebral palsy and the child was in very uh, bad condition the doctor told him hey look this vegan diet is not working out for your kid it's not enough nutrition for this child it's growing it's gonna get sick they basically said we're the intelligent almighty knowing vegans we know everything and now the kid was uh, admitted to the hospital, she was bleeding internally, had blood in her stool, was underweight, and required life support measures. You fucking vegans need your wig split. Because these are too many kids that are getting hurt from this shit, and there's a new one, like, every couple of days now. Uh, everybody out there, you can no longer be nice to these vegans. They're assholes, alright? When you insist that your diet is a hundred percent correct for all stages of life and this child has to be put on life support because you didn't want to listen to a valid doctor you rather listen to some friggin vegan quack this is what happens this is going on too much there's gonna be pushback against this if more and more kids keep getting sick or dead you vegans better be prepared we're not gonna be nice about this no more We'll be joking around about some of the stuff that you say, the information that you give is so totally ridiculous. There's studies out there that tells you that this vegan diet, you're, you're lacking at least 60 nutrients. But you guys keep lying and lying and lying. And the results in the proof right here. You feed this kid a vegan diet and the kid almost died, developed cerebral palsy. The kid will never have a full life because the vegan diet took that away from them because the idiot parents thought they knew more than doctors and scientists. This pisses me off. This really pisses me off. Mr. Lewis also described tech messages exchanged and showing how the vegan, the parents mocked the media report which was critical parents who put their infants on an all vegan diet. Yeah, they they know more than everybody else. Vegans, vegans are idiots. They're mentally ill morons, and I think they were already like that before they started the diet. The diet just made it worse. This is really bad, people. That the kids are suffering. They live in a first world country, and they had third world results when they're raising their children you vegans are the worst there's got to be a special green place in hell for you guys it really has to be mr lewis told the court that upon struggling to find the appropriate vegan formula the father made his own out of dates fruit and other vegetables he has now adjusted his own diet and eats meat Can you believe this shit? Can you believe it? The guy who forced this kid on a vegan meal after the kid, sick as hell, put on life support. Well, now he adjusts his own diet and eats meat. There goes another ex-vegan. Why did he become an ex-vegan? Because his kid almost died. His little one-year-old daughter was put on life support. Her health will never recover from cerebral palsy. Her life is friggin' in a wheelchair. Probably if she's lucky, she'll develop to speak. You vegans, oh my god. You need your wick split. Joey Carbstrong needs to be thrown in the wood chip after this. Keep pushing this diet. Anything bad happens to these vegans, 
they earned it. They earned it after what they've been spreading around, this crap like this. And then the father finds out, oh, it's not working out. He goes back and changes his diet and eats meat. You friggin' assholes. You're assholes. Every one of you vegans, you're assholes. I'm out.